Hello, Peter Sam. Ah, Charles, thank you for coming. How are you fitting into your new position? Well, it's been about two years, and I'm still learning new things every day. How's the railway? Well, we're having issues at present. Really? I'm back to where I started from. We only have two engines on our fleet. Both Scarloey and Hanaeus are away being mended, and Sir Handel and Peter Sam are working the line. Are they struggling? I, somewhat. I, I, I can't run too many trains. The passengers are getting annoyed at being cramped in the coaches. The goods are often late with the slate because they just can't keep up. And between you and me, morale between the engines is a bit low. Hmm. I may be able to find some help. Any help you can find would be nice. Speaking of help, here comes Sir Handel. Blasted cattle cars should be scrapped. Excuse me? Blasted things. Been complaining the whole ride. Not our fault. We're cramped. These coaches are packed and stuffy. There's no room to breathe. I shall attend to the matter as best as possible. Please bear with us. I've bared as long as I can. Bear. Tch, you ought to live in a forest then. Sir Handel. Ah, whatever. Be off with you. Sorry, sir. Can we talk in my office? Of course. I'm sick and tired of these coaches. I'm just tired in general. Blasted things ought to be scrapped! <sighs> I wish things went easier, Sahantu. You know, this is how mid Sodor ended. Work increasing, less engines, and then everything declined. Mmm, we need Grandpa. Shush! No one knows where he is. Hello, you two. D uh, hi, sir. What's the news? The news, my blue boiler acre, is that the railway is in serious trouble. There's a large workload and a small force. I've been speaking to the Fat Controller about it, and we're working it out. <laughs> so he says. So just keep up with the morale and work ethics, Sir Handel. It's the stupid coaches! Along with <clears throat> vulgar language from engines, passengers have complained about cramped conditions and stuffy coaches and late trains. Wow, Peter Sam, watch your language. What? Sir Handel, the first one's for you, and you know that. The both of you contribute to the last one, but it's out of your hands. That's why help will be coming soon. Heh, <laughs> it better. So you're leaving? Yeah, I'm going to work on the Scarlowy Railway. Heh, <laughs> good ratings. Thomas! Nah, uh, he's just mad because he lost our race. You cheated! How? There's no way you could beat me with that hill. I beat a helicopter and you couldn't beat a bus. <laughs> I beat him before. And you only won because you got lucky. Get used to it, Thomas. You're getting old. Just be lucky this isn't the other railway. Why? Haven't you heard that closing down worn down branch lines and some of them are just being used for bus services now? Rubbish! It's true. I'm off now. Toodle beep. I hate it when he says that. Is that true? Yeah, but it's rubbish. Is that gonna happen here? The Fat Controller would never approve. We're safe. Alright, I have our plan. With some of the Fat Controller's connections, I found someone willing to spare an engine. But the engine can't come for a few weeks. Sodor Roadways has graciously sent one of their top buses to handle passenger services with Peter Sam. So handle, for your behavior, you'll be working the goods. And some lawyers will be coming to assist. Oh, just lovely. I shall do my best. That's all I can accept. Come on, Sir Handel. 
Hi Peter Sam. Hello Percy. What brings you here? The Fat Controller needs slate for my new shed at Farquhar. Don't you have a quarry at the end of your line? It's undergoing renovation and expansion, unlike most things these days. What do you mean? I heard from Bertie that the buses are taking lines from engines. Thomas says not to trust Bertie. Maybe that's why. I ought to be careful. Oh, sure. Give me the dirty work. Give me slight trucks. Oh, I love it. I love it. Blasted engine! What the? Some drunken hooligan. Come on. <laughs> Let's book him. I got the mind to run him down. You do that and you'll never see the light of day. I'd rather that than this. All change. All change. <laughs> I'll show you. Excuse me? Nothing. Right. I'll be off then. Gotta stay efficient. Efficient? Pa! So how was your day, Mary Poppins? What? I heard you singing louder than usual. I'm trying to please the passengers. It wouldn't hurt for you to try. Rubbish! I've got my own problems. You certainly do. I heard a complaint about missing sleep from your train today. The Farquhar branch needs it. I made the delivery, I swear. Some was missing. Not my problem. Oh, yes it is. That money's gonna go straight to supporting the quarries and us so I can afford the help. I have no idea about what happened, sir. But I have my own complaint. When do you not? What? Am I not allowed to complain? That new lorry driver is rude. I'll deal with him separately, but you just worried about you and your deliveries. Good evening. Bother that driver. It's probably your fault. You always were the careless one of Minsodor. Shut up. You act like you have a clean slate. You don't because you get in trouble now anyway. I've got a good mind to stow it because I'm tired. Fuss pot. Can you believe it? Every day, more and more slate disappears, and I have run into that stupid driver. He's used obscene language, thrown things, and been all over the road whenever he comes near me. Eh, just to report him already. My driver has twice already. What's your bus problem I've been hearing about? Mm, that bus is more crafty than ever. He's so polite and gentlemanly towards the passengers. It's like he's trying to butter them up. Rubbish, you think too much. I don't. At least I can keep track of my trains lately. That's not my fault. It never is my friend. What's that supposed to be? <laughs> Ugh, can't I have a decent argument in peace? Shh. Look by your slate. It's the bloody lorry driver. He's been stealing slate. Son of a- What do we do? After him. All change. What the? He's getting away! Bother! Who's getting away? None of your business. Excuse me? Don't you have a line to take over? What? Percy told me everything. Wait a minute. Percy told you- <laughs> He's wrong. He's probably confused about something. That's typical Percy for you. Is this the time for this? We got some mad hooligan stealing slate running free. Hold on. I have an idea, but I'll need your, uh... Bus friend to help us. Now for my signal. Wait for it. I see them. Ready, Peter Sam? Ready. Just like on Mitsuo. Charge! Would that suit his grace? Definitely. Enough slate for you? Oh, uh, what's the matter with you? Same to you, slate stealer. Serves you right after what you did to me. Who, me? I haven't done anything to you. Ha! <laughs> don't tell me you don't know. I have no idea what you're on about. It happened six years ago, on Mid-Sodor. The year was 1950. Your railway was in decline and all mines were lost in service. You caused the downfall. You brought supplies and gunpowder and were preparing to leave with some cars. 
I remember you being crossed and shooting smoke everywhere. Next thing I knew, there was a fire and the cars exploded causing a massive landslide. The damage was so severe they had to close the mine. I lost my job and everything I work for now is that stupid shipping company. When they assigned me the old line, it was a golden opportunity to undercut your railway and take my revenge. <laughs> I always knew you could do a bang up job, said Handel. That wasn't my fault. Manager said so. When the railway was near closure, new coal was brought. It was poor because of how cheap it was, and I struggled dreadfully with it. I wasn't angry. I was exhausted that day. The coal caused sparks, and that's what caused the disaster. Wow, an accident that wasn't caused by Sir Handel. How rare. Oh, shut You did very well last night. You caught the thief, and the slate was found. I'm proud of both of you. You are credit to the railway. The man will be spending a dime in the slam. I'm off. Good day. Wait, what? What's a dime? It means ten years. How do you know that? That's an American term. I heard it from this American engine on our own line. He and Grant- Shush! That's it! I know how to solve our passenger coach issue. How? We used to have these old coaches on the mid solo which had bogeys. They were bigger and circulated air better. There's probably a few left behind. Hmm, that's worth investigating. Thank you, Sir Handel. I'll be off now. Something tells me that suggestion wasn't just to help him find our old coaches. Peter Sam, if they can go around looking Ben Soto, maybe they'll find Grandpa. Maybe they can bring him back with them. Sir Handel, they're going for coaches, and coaches is what they're going to bring back. Besides, he was probably sold. Let's not get our hopes up. <sighs> I do miss him, though. I do, too. Look at these, they're beautiful! They'll work fine. I found some spare parts that'll do us well. Great. Grab the parts, I'll call a lorry to pick them up along with the coaches. I wonder what else there is.